I'm going to begin by, we're going to start grading the cup. We, in the previous video, we actually set up our grade rules over here. And so I have my full size range. Now this is really important to set up because the next thing we go is we're going to come over here to the cup grade rules. My computer, click there. And the way I've actually created this and the method we're going to use is actually a scaling method. Now there's another way you can do it if you're going to do it by hand. I don't think it's as accurate. It's what I actually had in my first book. Um, and it's this right here. So here I have it so you can, um, you can do this if you're grading by hand. It's a little less accurate and you're going to have to probably do a little bit more testing. So you can kind of see I'm just kind of scrolling through right there. And um, so you can do it by hand, but this is really, this one that I'm going to be doing is um, in poly pattern. So let me go back to here and here. So I went ahead and I split my screen. So that way I can look at this. This is my starting one. So we have my 38J. And so this is where we're going to really set our initial measurements. Because we need to know what the measurements are for our whole curve. So we have, um, and here I split it down into four different areas. It may only be two different areas or three different areas, depending on your pattern. This one has, I believe, three. So we're going to be using three of these columns. So what we're going to do is we need to actually find out what the measurements on our pattern pieces are. So we are going to come over here, and we're going to define a dimension. So here we're going to go to Pro and Define Dimension. And when you create a dimension, it's actually, you can measure, basically it's going to take a measurement around a curve. And what's really cool is if you do it in the beginning, as you're actually scaling these patterns, it'll automatically take your settings from the first set and move it over to each side. So here I'm going to start for this outside curve. And so I'm going clockwise. So right, clockwise, this way. So I'm going to go from there to here. Um, this is going to be my outer, and I probably misspelled outer, curve. And so here you can actually select kind of what you want. We, we don't want to have a straight measurement. We really are wanting to get the outside edge measurement. So I got my outer curve here. We need to create that. We actually need to do it for each of these pattern pieces. So I'm going to go back to find dimension. Down here is, from here to here, is actually my lower curve. I already created that one here, but that's okay. Um, now we're going to create the last one, and this is my center front curve. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually, at this point, we can go and, no, we need to, well, here, I'll show it to you this way. So if you go here and you hit Control 2, you can actually see the measurements, and you can see I actually had already set up my, um, oh, I had already set up these dimensions, so they're just going to be here twice. Um, it's kind of hard to go in, and I actually, I don't think you can go in and delete just one of them. So we're going to use that. So we have 8 and 11 sixteenths. Um, we're going to use that over here. Eight, eleven, sixteenths. So here, I'm going to come back over to this side. You have to actually close this. You're going to hear it beeping. You have to close this in order to get the measurement of the next one. So control two will get me that. So three and seven thirteenths. Seven thirty seconds. Seven thirty seconds. I'm going to come back over here. And it's... You know, I like to have both of these screens open, um, but my screen's a little bit on the small side. Oh, control 2, there we go. 1 and 31 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to print that over here. 1 and 31 30 seconds. Okay, so this actually, you can see all what we're doing. We're starting in this column, and I actually have some math that goes ahead and it calculates the whole thing. So this way we can also double check to make sure that your wire that you're choosing is going to actually fit the curve of the band. So here we have 
we do have about a, a half an inch to about five eighths of an inch, maybe a little bit more, um, kind of give uh, basically wire play. So we have this measurement, and if you look over here, we have percentages. This is based on a scaling method. So we're basically, we're saying our diameter right now is 13, and we want to make our entire pattern change the diameter to 12 and a half. So in order to get that amount, we actually have a nice little funny calculation in here, and you can kind of see this up here. Um, but basically, we need to scale this size by that amount in order to get this amount. So this is relatively easy, and you have to do it from the last pattern that you worked on. So we're going to go down in size. So I'm coming over here, and I'm just going to select all of my pattern pieces. Now I want to copy them because I don't want to mess up my original one. So we can just hit Control D, and that basically duplicates it. So I'm going to scroll, pull it down here. Then we can go up to Auxiliary, Scale Pattern, isn't this fabulous? And then we can just go and hit 96.15, 96.15, and I don't think this makes a difference, so I'm actually just going to take that out because I don't really want to scale anything else on it. Um, those are the same amounts, those match this point, so I'm going to hit OK. You can see they just got a little bit smaller, then I'm going to go in and manually change the name. So I just double clicked on it. Power bar uh, 38i. Okay, so now I have my middle cup. Okay, so this is going to be middle cup 38i. And basically just are going to double click in each one of these pattern pieces. Is it going to do that one? Okay. Um, lower cup, 38i. And top cup. Thirty-eight. Okay. So now that we've got this new set, we're just, we can then go in. We need to um, basically record what these measurements are. So I'm going to hit my control 2. So we have 8 and 3 eighths, and I'm going to come over here, right above that, we're going to have 8 space 3 eighths, okay, for this one, close that, get this one, that's 3 and 3 30 seconds, 3 and 3 30 seconds, then come back over here, And then we have 1 and 29, 30 seconds. 1 and 29, 30 seconds. Okay, so now here we actually have, this tells us what the difference is in these two measurements. Now um, I need to go double check because I think a half an inch is not what we want. Let me look back here. Now our wire length is going to grow by 5 eighths of an inch. So right now, this, if I've actually entered in these numbers correctly, um, the difference between these is one half an inch. And so this means that I actually need to make this amount bigger. So we will actually have to go in and manipulate a little bit. So let's come over here and let's see. Let me just double check that I typed this incorrect. Okay, 3 and 3, 30 seconds. That one's correct. And eight and three eights. Okay. Um, so we actually do have to correct these as we go. Um, otherwise, we're going to have issues. And I just had something that popped up on my screen. My measurements are all correct and that I did enter it in right. So I'm actually going to add it because we actually need to make this bigger, let me see, let me, let me change one, so I'm going to take one point and I'm going to arrow it up just so I can see what the difference is um, to make sure I'm going in the right direction because sometimes I just can't think straight. So 8 and 7 16, so if you put that here, and I don't know what just happened, 8 and 7 16, 
Um, okay, that actually that actually made it smaller. So I'm going in the wrong direction over here. So let me come back over here. And I will hit Control Z to undo what I just did. That's why I just like to move one point at a time. Um, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to move this down. And it doesn't really take a whole lot to do something. So let me check that. So 9, 30 seconds here. Okay, so that's a little bit bigger. Um, and so what I actually really like to do is I like to do the, um, I don't like to really mess with the lower part because there's just too many things involved with it. Um, I'd probably say for the most part, I'll take it and adjust it from the side over here. Okay, 7.30 seconds. So we're getting a little bit closer to 5 eighths. I think we need to be... Okay, 8 and 1 eighth. Well, now that's way too big. What did I do? I guess 21... Actually, I probably should have just kept it with the last one. So let me come back over here. Let me take the last measurement. And so you really do have to kind of do troubleshooting, and once you kind of get the hang of it, um, then you'll be fine. So and we have 7, 30 seconds, 8, 7, 30 seconds. Okay, so actually this is 1 30, sec one thirty second bigger of a difference, but that's enough. Um, we can actually work with that. So as long as this can still fit in here um, with giving yourself about a half an inch, I think you're good. Okay, so now that we've actually confirmed that that next size is okay, sometimes we'll have much better luck and sometimes we have worse luck. So I'm going to so we've completed the 38i. I'm going to then do my control D again. And I'm just going to move that down a little bit. And then go up to my scale my pattern. And here we're going to the next one down. So see we're using the most recent one we just did to keep going. So we're going to go 96, 96. Okay, so we got a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this on my own. I don't think I need to show you the video on all this. But when we need to go up to, to this next one, so when we need to go up, we're actually going to go back to the 38J and go up from there. And you just need to, um, you know, as long as, you just need to kind of double check to see, okay, what is the difference of the wire? So this should be relatively close. You can have it a little over, a little under. Um, you do have play, so you still have a half an inch on this one. This one we had a little bit more than a half an inch. Um, but as long as your total wire curve can fit the wire, um, you know, you can make your own decisions on here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I'll be back in a second. Before I actually got to P, um, I decided to double check something because I had forgotten that I was using the vertical wires and my wires personally only going up to 54. And so my starting size, as if you can remember, my starting size is a 54 vertical. So if I actually grade up, I'm using wires that may be very limited in um, how they're able to get. I'm actually going to try and carry up to 60, um, but if that means here we've got 54, 56, 58, and 60. So that means I actually really should only have gone up to 38M. So I'm going to refer back to my other Excel sheet where I had created my range. So if we're going to be doing a 38M, which is going to be the biggest, that means that this column here is as large as I'm going to go. So having here, where was that? So I would be able to have a 48, basically, to an H. So my published sizes, I might not, I might actually stop them at about 44. Um, <clears throat> that's really kind of up to me, and I can explain in another video on how to take one of our sister sizes and um, making it for other other sizes in our range. 